Has everyone come across a dance firm called Buto? Buto is a genre of performance art that comes out of Japan. It began in the late 1950s, so only has a roughly 60-year-old history, but it has spread internationally during that time. On this course, we will be focusing on the world's first Buto dancer, Tatsumi Hijikata. So to introduce myself, I am Yoko Watanabe, a curator at K University Arts Center. The Arts Center is a research institution which focuses on post-war Japanese art. And one of our activity is managing the Tatsumi Hijikata archive. Tatsumi Hijikata created Buto dance, having studied the modern dance and the classical ballet. He shaped Buto both as a rejection of those preceding dance forms and in response to the influence of European philosophy and art. So we might want to ask exactly what kind of context could have given rise to Buto. We'll begin this course by exploring Hijikata's creation of Buto dance from the 1950s to 1960s in order to get a sense of what is meant by the term Buto. From here, we return to the revolution of Buto during the 1970s, which will be the focus of week two of the course. In the 1970s, Hijikata began to explore new ideas, themes, and techniques, at the same time as refining a new choreographic method. So it was during this period that the Buto method as such was established. Buto dance uses notation just as music uses a score, and it is this form of Buto notation or Butofu that will be the focus of the third week. Building on your understanding of Hijikata's Buto method from week two, we'll be delving into the world of Hijikata's notational Buto. This will be framed in relation to the other ways in which dance notation has developed internationally. Though it is over 30 years since Hijikata passed away in 1986, the dancers who learned Buto under his direction continue to preserve the heritage and the aesthetics of his dance form. In the last week, we'll be looking at the dissemination and the reception of Buto internationally and at the international research of Buto. Finally, we'll wrap things up by thinking about the development and future of Buto. Throughout the course, we will be making use of archival documents housed at the Arts Center. We will also be inviting guest teachers like Rosa van Hausbergen, who researches dance notation and brutal dance, to offer you a wide range of perspectives on the dance form. Our hope is that, through learning about brutal dance, your eyes will be opened to a new art form created in the Far East in the late 20th century.